Well, Zach Jordan, those exclusive results from Emerson College, WETM News Nation polls show more people are now aware of the allegations of sexual assaults towards the three women. And now more voters want him to step down. And although his approval ratings remain the same, his apology and refusal to resign also hurt him in other ways. And if they were hurt by it, I apologize. Wednesday's admission and acknowledgement of wrongdoing by Andrew Cuomo continue a downward trend in how voters think he's doing as New York's governor. But a vast majority still think he should at least finish out his term. Cuomo and his administration are entangled in dual scandals. A federal investigation over whether they hit nursing home fatalities in public facilities. And most recently, accusations of inappropriate sexual behavior by three women, two of whom his former aides. An Emerson College WETM News Nation poll shows Wednesday's apology wasn't highly favorable, especially for voters outside of New York City. 41% of voters surveyed they believe Cuomo was sorry for his behavior towards the three women, although 41% said they didn't buy it. More voters now believe he should resign over the accusations of sexual misconduct. The number increased from Tuesday's 37 to now more than 43%. Of those surveyed who didn't believe his apology, close to 80% think he should step down. And now, more people think Cuomo's guilty of sexual harassment. The poll shows a majority of New York voters, 54%, think he did it, compared to just 38% before Wednesday's apology. Spencer Kimball is the director of polling for Emerson College. I don't think that Governor Cuomo is at a point where he is, has to resign, where he's lost all public support and confidence, but uh, he's certainly on, a, um, on, on thin ice. The increase in awareness of both scandals is having an impact on the voters' confidence in their three-term governor. The updated poll shows nearly 46% of voters believe nursing home fatalities and the harassment allegations will seriously affect his ability to lead the Empire State. And this is compared to 39% earlier in the week. Still, his 38% approval rating remained unchanged from poll to poll. I'm wondering if his approval rating at that 38 will hold, and that's his base. Uh, we're going to see where his floor really is. Where people had doubt, they're moving against him. And Zach Jordan, the poll also shows the number of voters who want Cuomo's third term to be his last. It went up a couple of points. Now, only about a third of New York voters would send him back to the executive mansion in 2022. The governor and legislators are seeing polls like this being conducted all across the country. And it's likely Cuomo's shrinking numbers are just one reason tomorrow's vote to strip his unilateral emergency powers could be made a little more easier and, more importantly, polit politically safe. Live in the studio, Darrell Matthews, 18 News.